All right, we're going to do a little lesson on one point perspective. What you will need is a pencil, a ruler, and an eraser. Okay, um, and I'm uh, going to go over some vocabulary terms. First thing I need you to know is parallel lines. You probably should already learn this in math class. Parallel lines are two lines that never intersect with each other. Okay, like this. Okay, or like an equal sign. Those lines are just never going to touch with each other. So when it comes to parallel lines, please remember that. When I tell you your lines need to be parallel, just remember that, okay? So they just, they like love each other, but they don't want to touch each other, okay? So they're just always going straight across and never, they will, they will go on forever, but they will never intersect, okay? That's intersecting lines. These are parallel lines. Okay, so first thing for our one point perspective is just simply we need to draw a flat horizon line across the paper. Okay, so I'll do this very quickly. There you go. All right, and that's going to be our horizon line. Remember, horizon was a uh, spelling word in the fourth grade, and I had the hardest time remembering how to pronounce it horizon. Okay, and then that's going to be our vanishing point. Okay, I'm just going to put V for vanishing point. And um, now we'll do some boxes. So um, with uh, one point perspective, we always see the front face of something. So we're going to see the front face of a box. So this is very simple. What I'm going to do is simply I'm just going to draw like a little square rectangle. Okay. And right now I just have a flat rectangle, you know, it's one, it's like two dimensional, it's just a shape, but I'm going to turn this into a three dimensional form by using single point perspective. So all I do is I connect all of my corners towards that vanishing point. So these corners that look like they would connect with a vanishing point, I just connect the corner, I use the ruler, I connect it up towards the vanishing point. Okay, next one, connect it, and last one, is connected okay all right there you go so you're going to be doing this on your own page and right now it looks like i have a box very very nice um, but this box looks like it goes on forever and ever and ever okay so i just want it to look like a little shoe box or something so i'm going to cut it off at a certain point um please remember these lines here that connect towards the vanishing point those are called orthogonals and they're also called converging lines because they converge toward the vanishing point um but anyway back to cutting off the box so it doesn't look like it goes on forever and ever and ever. Um, this is where the parallel lines are gonna come in. So see this top edge of the box? It's nice and flat, okay? So I need to draw a, um, a line to cut it off that's also nice and flat and it's parallel to this line. So the flatness of that, I've gotta match it. There we go, we have a nice flat line. See how these two lines are parallel? Okay, and then when I go to cut off the box on this side, I need it to be straight up and down, vertical. I need this next line to be vertical and straight up and down. I need it to be parallel to this line right here. So I wanted you guys to remember parallel lines really, really badly, okay? And that's pretty much it, okay? Now I can go in and erase my orthogonals. And now I just look like I have a very well drawn box. Okay, now I'll show you the wrong way to do this. So I do this again. Okay, I'm just going to do this quickly. I'm going to show you the importance of parallel lines. This trips up a few students every single year, no matter what. Okay. When they go to cut off the box, right now the box looks like it goes on forever and ever. They do not do parallel lines. They go, meh, and like, meh, okay. And then they erase the lines, and they make it look super awkward. See how that box looks really, really funky, okay. So it has to be parallel lines. So this line, you cut it off, it's got to be parallel. Got to be flat across, and this is straight up and down. So that line needs to be parallel. Here we are. Okay. And that's your first little lesson on one point perspective.